rooms with the actual rods are insulated by six feet of concrete. Come here, take a look at this. This is it. This is it. The real deal right here. That's it. That's the glowing blue cobalt 60 rods. That's the radiation coming from those. And it's a lethal dose, but there's 18 feet of water between us and that. It's absorbing the radiation. Sandia uses this chamber to test how various materials, say the parts used in a satellite, are affected by gamma radiation. If we take a glass jar, it's perfectly clear, right? You can see changes in the glass after we apply radiation to it. What happens to it? Well, they have the ability to remove electrons from atoms. Can gamma rays really alter the molecular structure of the glass? To find out, our glass jar is about to be flooded with gamma rays in the name of science. Get out of here. The cobalt rods will be raised above the water to irradiate the glass. The gamma rays also blast the cameras in the chamber, making this the last image they'll ever record. These are all electrons getting slammed inside the electronics. Okay, the test is complete. Let's see what gamma radiation did to our clear glass jar. Wow, it's almost black. It's grayish brown. So normally, light just passes right through because the electrons can't absorb it. But because the gamma rays have scrambled the electrons, they don't let it through. They actually absorb that light, and it's turned black. But heating the glass jar in an oven gently nudges electrons back into their rightful place, and the jar can no longer absorb light. Look at that, it's clear. But 